he doing here? Well, well, well. It ain't one of Santa's helpers. And you look like the Grinch who stole Christmas. Who, me? Still? Yo, I spread peace and goodwill wherever I go, baby. In fact, I got something for my good friend Victoria. Look at that. Christmas to you. Thank you. Isn't that sweet of him? Or just swipe it, Bobby, out of the children's ward at the hospital? Honestly, you just upset because you think I forgot about you, Tina. But I didn't. For your stock. A lump of coal? Yeah, that's what Santa Claus gives with bad little girls. Ho, 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 ho. Now let this be a lesson to you. Next year, if you clean up your act, it just might be a diamond. Why don't you take your little Christmas chair and I'll tell you what you can do with it. <laughs> Look here. Sorry I gotta go, but this is my busiest time of the year. Victoria, you have yourself a cool yule. Oh, you right? too, Bobby. Thank right. you. Oh, and uh, uh, Tina, remember what I said? Santa Claus got a long memory. Be cool. Bobby, thanks. Right. <laughs> I'd take his advice if I were you. Let's not let Bobby Blue spoil the day, all right? Why, is that your job? Vicky, can't we just let our differences go for one day? Merry Christmas, sis. Doesn't seem to be ticking. I think you'll like it. At least it means a great deal to me. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh! I remember that rhinestone pin. That's the one you tried to trick me with once. They're diamonds. Oh, diamonds are they? Let's see, a diamond L. What's that, L for Lord? Yeah, I found it a long time ago in the secret room. The secret room? I almost forgot about it. Well, I don't mean to bring up any uh, bad memories, but I thought it's time that I tell you about the note. What note? The note that I found with this. It was from our father, Victor Lord, and it was for Victoria on her graduation. Oh, yeah? Vicky know about it? No. I should have told her about it, but then she just turned against me. She told me Victor couldn't possibly be my father and that there was no way that I could be a lord. So you just took the pin? No, I told her I had it made up special. That was my own way of saying that I belonged here just as much as anybody else. Mm. Why are you giving it to me now? Because you accepted me. Because you made me feel like part of this family, and because Victoria is my sister, so you are my sister, and that, that belongs to you. That's such a touching tribute. I think it's going to take a lot more than a piece of jewelry to turn you into Tiny Tim. Is that all you're going to say to me? Oh, Tina, come on. I know exactly what you think about me, and you know exactly how I feel about you. So let's cut through the ribbons and the bows, and you tell me what you want. I came here to try to help you. I thought maybe when you came back from Santa Domingo that you might want somebody to talk to. Oh, you want the lowdown. Why didn't you say so? You didn't have to pay for it. I would have told you. Okay, I got the divorce. No thanks to you and your little tape. Do you know that Clint came all the way down to Santa Domingo with you? <laughs> Poor Nikki. Mm -hmm. What did she say when he showed her the evidence? What could I say? I had to tell him the truth, didn't I? I had to tell him that you manufactured the whole thing. You took advantage of poor Bobby and paid him to make the tape. You did what? That is the most underhanded, deceptive <laughs> thing I've ever heard. calling the kettle black. I should say blackmailer. But you have me over I never intended to blackmail you. No, you never you. intend anything. Disaster just follows naturally in your path. Tell me, what do you intend now? I mean, what do you want? I want my sister. Your sister? No, honey, 
You don't want your sister. You want her husband, her house, and her money. And I am so afraid that you are not going to stop until you get it all. Stand me, will you? Oh, I understand you, Tina, all too well. Well, then I guess it's the best thing that I'm leaving. I couldn't stand the pain of being around here knowing how you feel about me, so I'll just uh, say my goodbyes and be on my way. Oh, you're leaving. Well, nobody said you had to leave. The town is big enough for the both of us. Yeah, but not for the three of us. <laughs> but then that's not going to be a problem much longer, is it? What does that mean? It means that there is a clinic in New York, and it's supposed to be very quick and painless. One minute you're pregnant, and then the next you're not. I don't believe one word you're saying. Fine. Fine. It's not your concern anymore. We are not your concern anymore. So goodbye, Nikki. Tina, come here. What is it, some kind of bluff? Oh, it's no bluff. I have no other choice. No, what you have is no baby. You can't have an abortion because you were never pregnant to begin with. I wish that were true, but unfortunately, the evidence says otherwise. What evidence? I know you're oh. very skeptical, so maybe this will have to believe the truth. My, my, my. It looks like a doctor's report. Yes, and please don't show it to Clint, all right? He mustn't know about it. If you are Clint to know, why did you bother to get the report? For you, I want you to know the truth. Why are you pregnant? With Clint's baby. I don't care whose kid it is. That's not my problem. How can you say that to me? I am your sister. You are my sister when it is convenient for you. Well, it is my turn now. I'm going to look out for myself from now on. Meaning what? Meaning that you're leaving town. Well, so am I. Tomorrow morning I am out of this country and I'm going as far and as fast as my money will take me. Freedom and fun, that's what I want. And that's what I'm going to get starting now. Well, I'm happy for you. Of course you're happy for me because it means I'm out of your way. No, it's because you deserve to be happy. And Clint deserves some happiness, too. In fact, after I, I do what I have to do, then I am going to come back here and take care of Clint and the boys. Don't hold your breath. I think he'd rather sleep with a rattlesnake. Not for long. Not once you're out of his life and I happen to be around, eventually he's going to turn to me. Not if Bobby tells Clint that you paid him to fake the tape. Clint won't want you within a million miles of land fair. You wouldn't do that. Not to your own sister. Merry Christmas, sis.